every time the farrier came to my family's yard, I absolutely was enthralled by it. I used to sit there and watch him from the time I was six or seven. And it's a, it's a job, a passion is what I'd say. It's a very physical job. It's not for everyone. Uh, it is very, very tough in the body, but if you love what you do, we come to work every day with a smile and we go home with a smile most days as well. So it's a nice job to be in. Basically starting out, all we're doing is exfoliating the sole. We don't want to remove too much. It's obviously the protection to the pedal bone and everything else that's inside there. A light trim up of the frog just to keep it all, all the loose bits off. The frog is kind of like the shock absorber of the foot. It's kind of like the suspension of the horse's foot. It sits in a, a sack of fluid underneath, which is called the digital cushion, which is the, as I said, the shock absorber and keeps everything moving nicely in the foot and helps pump the blood back up into the horse's heart. Trimming off the excess toe here. This is exceptionally important for a racehorse. The leverage on the, of the, to the long toe causes excessive strain on the tendons, which is obviously the one part of a racehorse that gets injured the most frequently. So this is just rasping the foot to, to get it level. We obviously can't use a spirit level on a horse's foot, so we have to balance the horse's foot up by eye. This is a, a trainer shoe, it's a light steel shoe. It's for horses before they'd be racing. This is a, a shoe that gives a bit more wear. The aluminiums don't do well wear-wise, and they also give a lot of concussion up through the horse's limbs, so steel is a much softer metal that, in that regard. The shoes come in many different sizes. Race horses are generally one of five different sizes usually. Uh, so we stock all those and carry them with us. So they're in a, a fairly re regular shape. So we get the shape that is closest to the, the size that would fit the horse adequately and then fit it to the horse's own shape foot, which we've balanced in advance. Race horses, we can't really leave anything sticking out. Their, their action is very close, their legs move very close to each other when they're moving at speed, so any little piece sticking out, the racehorse will generally step it off. Whereas when we shoot show jumpers or that, we're actually leaving quite a bit of length for support. We shoot these lads quite differently. The outline of the foot and the outline of the shoe are exactly the same. Like two pennies sitting on top of each other. Hunter fit originally was what it was called. The idea being that they can't oh, knock themselves or bang off themselves. Obviously hitting their, their other limb with a piece of protruding steel would do quite a bit of damage. And these are our athletes, so no damage is acceptable at any stage with these reds. So this is the white line around here. This is where we want our nails to go into, this line that runs around here. Anywhere inside that, we'd be going into flesh and sensitive structures of the foot, which obviously is what we're trying to avoid. Usually put in six. Um, it can vary between six, between four and eight nails per shoe. Minimum you'd ever have in a shoe is four. Uh, it all depends on how big the foot is and how much good hoof wall you have there. There's no point putting a nail in bad hoof wall. It's better to not have a nail in at all. So that's the shoe on. The next step of the job is called clenching. Okay, so I'm, I'm making a little groove under each clench. The reason I'm doing that is I'm I'm giving something for the clench to sit into so I can still keep the strength of the clench so that I'm not weakening the nail with the rasp. Just putting on some hoof sealant that'll reseal up the, the hoof wall so it stops excess moisture or, or things going through the hoof wall. Uh, when we've shod the horse, we've stripped the co natural coating that is on the hoof wall off. So this just replenishes it and it'll come back in, in a day or two itself anyway. Mm -hmm. 